What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about sharpening in LumaFusion and how you can add sharpening to your image to make it look crispy. And uh, there is a, a, a different way that people think of this. Someone wants those flatter images, which is sort of washed out and kind of enjoys that personally. I enjoy that the video is sharpened a little bit so you can see some of the details in the face or whatever that you are filming. So that's my personal opinion. You might have another opinion about it, but that is my opinion and I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. Now there is a few tips and tricks that you can uh, apply in LumaFusion to get this to look sort of similar to Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Now, sharpening in LumaFusion is quite uh, hard if you don't know how to do it, but I'm going to try to simplify this as much as I can, explaining why I do the different things and what the different things does when it comes to applying a sharpness. Uh, because, you know, we have this one button that says sharp 1x, 1.5x, and 2x, and those are basically sort of filters. Yeah, I'm gonna explain that more in the overhead shot, but but before we move over to the iPad, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be highly appreciated. Check out robhkvlogs.com if you wanna get more in-depth videos in LumaFusion and or if you just want to learn how to make professional videos. There's also a bunch of presets there. If you want to check out those, hit me up on um, Instagram, Instagram. If you want to uh, see some videos on what is coming to this channel as well there is early previews there if you want to follow me on instagram and so on but with that said let's head over to the ipad here and i am going to try my best to explain how this works <laughs> Now, once we get over to the iPad and over to LumaFusion, I have a clip selected on the timeline already. And uh, this is a clip where I'm sitting almost still. And this is something that you want to use when you're going to add some sharpening to your image. You don't want those parts where you have a lot of movement in your footage because it might be hard to do proper sharpening. So let's skip to the beginning here where we have the point where I'm sitting still. And let's go into edit here so I can explain the different sharpening options that we have in LumaFusion. Now you want to go all the way up to the uh, water droplet here, tap on that and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here we can find sharpen one, one and a half and two and unsharp one, two and three. Now, most people tend to apply sharpen 1x or 1.5x or 2 because it says sharpen. And people might believe that the unsharpen is uh, what's making everything unsharp, like it says in the word, unsharp. Now, the way that these two works is that sharp 1, 1.5 one and, and 2 is basically a filter that you apply over your image. So if I add the sharp 2 now, it's basically adding a filter all the way over my image. And you can look at this as sort of a, a LUT, but it's a, a sharpening LUT. So it basically adds a filter over your entire footage to make everything a little bit sharper. Now let's delete this and let's go over to the unsharp. Now what unsharp does is basically find the edges in your image and increase the contrast of those edges around your image. Now if we take the radius down here and the intensity up, you can see that it basically adds more contrast to the edges. Now intensity is basically controlling how much contrast you want to add to those edges in your image. Now if we move the slider here, you can see that the edges are decreasing and the contrast of those edges are decreasing as well. The radius is basically how big you want those edges to be. So at zero, it's going to be basically gone. There is no effect applied. And at 100, the edges are basically pushed out and they grow into each other and kind of blends those uh, pixels to, together. So the radius is basically pixelated and it adds the effect to your pixels in the image. So if you take this all the way up to 100 with the intensity, you're gonna have some sort of an alien look 
to your image and this just doesn't look good at all. Now the footage right here has been shot with the Sony a7 III and that means the sharpening in the camera has been lowered a tiny bit. So that you can see here on the screen as well that we don't have that much uh, clarity or sharpening in the image. And you can simply add that by the a simple tap of the uh, sharp one here and you have some sharpening back to the image. But what I recommend is that you start with the unsharpen even though that after taking a look at the name it doesn't really make sense but that's how this works so it basically adds contrast to your edges and this is something that you want to start with so the thing you're going to do is to add some radius how much radius do you want in your image let's take this intensity up a tiny bit and how much radius do you want how big do you want those lines in your image to be those edges around the face around the hat around the the body around everything in the image how big do you want those edges to be so what i found to be really really good here is to actually take the radius to somewhere around 25 let's see here 25 and the intensity you can always just play around with the slider here so let's see if we want to have a, a pretty normal look to this and now it's completely flat and I want to add just a tiny bit of sharpening here. So I'm going to take this up to around 25 as well. So here we have 25 and 25. You can always play around with this to see how it looks. Now I want to add a little bit more sharpening to my cheeks here because that's the type of video that I like. I like to watch videos which is sharpen but i don't want them to be or i don't like them to be over sharpened so what i'm going to do now is to simply add a sharp 1x now once we added that you can see here on the cheek that we got some more details i also want the sharp 1x to control the unsharpen and to basically be the main layer so i'm going to take the sharp one and drag above the unsharp one and at first look here you can't really see that much uh, difference but if we toggle on and off you can see that there is some more details into my cheek here now we can also do some basic color correction to this to spice up uh, even though this is shot with the studio profile that i made for the sony a7 III as you can see now this is not color graded at all not corrected nothing this is the footage that i get straight out of the camera and i'm filming with the aglg 3 profile with some custom settings and that means or that allows me to do minor color corrections to the image for it to look decent or good depending on the eye and depending on the person watching but in my opinion this looks very very natural and it looks really good now i have already prepared a simple uh, color correction here so we're going to apply that and you can see it's getting a little bit lighter here and it gives the face a little bit more light as i have the light on top here so this is basically how i edit the uh, videos that i upload to youtube with the sharpening of lima fusion now let's just duplicate this one time here like that i'm just going to place it above and i'm going to go into edit on this first one here and delete all the effects and I'm going to go over to cropping here. I'm simply going to do a tiny crop to the right. And uh, we can do it like that. For example, something like that just on the eyeball there. And uh, if I double tap here, you can see also the before and after that there is a lot more details into the image. So the base, basically what you want to do is to go into your footage and you want to not only add the sharpen one because the sharpen one is basically, basically going to add the filter as I mentioned uh, over your image but you also want to add the unsharpen mask here or the unsharpen one. Now, if you used to use Final Cut Pro or the Premiere Pro, uh, this is called Unsharpen Mask. Now, if we untoggle this like that, uh, you will see that we still have some sharpening here, but it looks a lot better if we apply the Unsharpen 
mask here because you get some more details uh, into the edges. The unsharpened, like I said, is putting more contrast into the edges. So this is basically what you want to start with when you're gonna do your sharpening in Luma Fusion. So there you have some information about the sharpening process in LumaFusion and how to get the most out of it. Now, first I wanna say I do recommend that you test out the sharpening before you actually do the final render. This is to save some space as well. And you can simply do that by having a portion of your sequence, just use the multi-selection tool, select a short sequence uh, uh, from your project and then copy that and apply that to a new project and then you can render that and use that as a test. Now we also going to go over to some comparison shots here so you can see the different settings that I applied to the different uh, video files here. This is video taken from the previous video which is TV and broadcast assets so if you want that head over to the previous video. But now let's jump into the comparison shots here so you can see the different settings that I used for all these uh, different uh, clips and uh, see if you like any of those uh, effects yeah so let's get into the comparison what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to give you some free assets which can help you make your videos better and uh, you can also use this to get rid of those uh, uh, cuts between the clips at the end of the video or in the middle of the video or if you say something which really doesn't make sense you can use the uh, signal tv beep to to kind of turn that into something funny or just to make a break to make it a little bit more interesting What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to give you some free assets which can help you make your videos better. And uh, you can also use this to get rid of those uh, uh, cuts between the clips at the end of the video or in the middle of the video. Or if you say something which really doesn't make sense you can use the uh, signal TV beep to, to kind of turn that into something funny or just to make a break to make it a little bit more interesting. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to give you some free assets which can help you make your videos better. And uh, you can also use this to get rid of those uh, uh, cuts between the clips at the end of the video or in the middle of the video. Or if you say something which really doesn't make sense you can use the uh, signal TV beep to, to kind of turn that into something funny or just to make a break to make it a little bit more interesting. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to give you some free assets which can help you make your videos better. And uh, you can also use this to get rid of those uh, uh, cuts between the clips at the end of the video or in the middle of the video. Or if you say something which really doesn't make sense you can use the uh, signal TV beep to, to kind of turn that into something funny or just to make a break to make it a little bit more interesting. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to give you some free assets which can help you make your videos better. And uh, you can also use this to get rid of those uh, uh, cuts between the clips at the end of the video or in the middle of the video. Or if you say something which really doesn't make sense you can use the uh, signal TV beep to, to kind of turn that into something funny or just to make a break to make it a little bit more interesting. Now before we end this video I need to say that this is a sharpening process for the Sony a7 III picture profile that I am filming with. Now this sharpen method is the same. Uh, I mean you can you can use the same type of style that we did the sharpening in this tutorial to apply to your GoPro, Osmo Action, your A6400, 600, 6000 and uh, your iPhone and so on but you might have to adjust the sliders differently. So what I suggest is that you practice and test this out until you find something which is suitable for you. Then you make a preset. Once you made that preset and you film with that particular device, then you can apply your sharpening preset to that footage by simply selecting the preset and you will have the sharpening which you perfected 
uh, once you tested everything out. So I was thinking about making some presets for you, but then I realized that you might not like the type of sharpening that I made. So it's easier to make this tutorial, explain everything to you, how it works, and then you can make your own presets and save them and then apply them to your footage once you have a different footage from different cameras and you, you want to add some sharpening. You can also de-sharpen probably uh, something like that anyway. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, video and learned something new and make sure to hit that subscribe button again. That would be highly appreciated. Check me out on Instagram. Check out robhkvlogs.com if you are interested in Lima Fusion presets. And I'm going to say it again, the uh, uh, the uh, the presets uh, Mega Bundle and Extreme Bundle is still on sale. Only a few days left now, so grab those if you are interested in something awesome for your videos. Now with that said, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I see you guys in the next one. Next one. Next one.